During a mortar exercise conducted in Mali on the 6th of July 2016, a shell exploded in its mortar. In the accident, two Dutch military personnel lost their lives, while one was seriously wounded. In the aftermath of the accident, doubts arose about the medical care administered to the wounded victim. The Dutch Safety Board investigated what were the direct and underlying causes of the shell exploding prematurely, and how was medical assistance administered after the incident? The incident occurred during a mortar exercise just outside the camp of the Netherlands' UN mission near Kidal. During the exercise, a shell exploded at the bottom of the mortar barrel. The two mortar shooters were killed outright. The soldier supervising the exercise was thrown backwards by the pressure wave but was not injured. The soldier filming the exercise was seriously injured by flying shrapnel. Other army personnel on exercise in the area immediately rushed to the scene following the explosion to administer first aid. The general military nurse who arrived at the scene issued instructions to take the wounded victim to the UN hospital in Kidal as quickly as possible. This hospital is manned by Togolese Army Hospital staff. However, the driver of the Bushmaster was not familiar with this location and brought the victim to an emergency station manned by French Army staff that had fewer medical facilities. Following initial medical procedures performed at this emergency station, the victim was as yet taken to the Togolese hospital. Medical care administered to the victim at this hospital was not provided in accordance with the Dutch military standards. The Togolese doctors were not particularly thorough and there was no structured examination. Only once a Dutch doctor who had arrived on the evacuation helicopter issued instructions did the Togolese doctor perform a stomach operation to stop the bleeding. No proper anaesthetic was administered to the victim for this procedure. Following the operation, the wounded soldier was transferred to Gao for additional care and to the Netherlands a few days later. A mortar is manually loaded with a shell. The shell contains several explosive charges that when lined up form an explosion chain that ignites the main charge. However, in safe mode, the charges are not in line. A safety mechanism ensures that the shell arms itself during flight and explodes when it impacts with a target. To prevent the shell exploding prematurely, the initiation charge and main charge are physically separated by a metal closure plate. The fatal shell was loaded in the mortar in the correct manner. Nevertheless, the shell exploded almost immediately. Inspection of the recovered closure plate revealed that the shell was not armed and exploded while in safe mode. The shells had been stored in Kidal in containers that were not cooled, which meant that they were exposed to excessively high temperatures. Moreover, moisture had penetrated the fatal shell. The board's investigation shows, with a probability bordering on certainty, that as a result of the combination of moisture and heat, excessively sensitive explosive substances formed in the shell. During the exercise, the fatal shell was warmed up in the sun. Due to the shock from the launch, the explosive substance that had formed initiated the ignition. Furthermore, the closure plate failed to prevent output in safe mode, after which the shell exploded. The mortar shells were procured by the Ministry of Defense for the mission in Afghanistan, with the assistance of the United States Department of Defense in 2006. This took place under major time pressure. Some procedures and inspections related to quality and safety were neglected during procurement. The Dutch Defence Organisation believed these tests could be omitted in the assumption that the US Army was itself using the ammunition and had therefore adequately tested it for safety. However, the purchasing contract explicitly stated that the ammunition concerned was not used by the US Army. 
and that the United States government could not guarantee the ammunition's safety or quality. Although there was still sufficient time to check the remaining shells once the Afghanistan mission had concluded, no such checks were performed. Eight years after having been purchased, the remaining shells were deployed for use in Mali. The investigation reveals that the Dutch military personnel in Mali worked with ammunition characterised by weak design elements, which had not been properly tested for quality or safety and the reliability of which had been further impaired as a result of storage and usage in unfavourable conditions. Having the right medical facilities in place is vitally important to the treatment of serious injuries in the initial hours following an incident. However, the medical facilities available in Kidal did not comply with the Dutch military guidelines. There was also a lack of thorough testing and supervision from the defence organisation. Doubts expressed within the defence organisation fell on deaf ears. The incident that occurred during the mortar exercise did not constitute a reason for the Ministry of Defence to evaluate the medical facilities either. The provision of safe medical care for the Dutch military personnel in Kidal was subordinate to the progress of the mission. The Dutch Safety Board has found serious shortcomings in the concern for the safety of the Dutch military personnel during the mission in Mali. The Board therefore recommends that the Minister of Defence ensures that risk management within defence is appropriate for the current and future deployment of the Dutch Armed Forces. Makes it clear how the safety and health safeguards for the Dutch military personnel to be deployed are being complied with both prior to the mission and when extending it. Improves the care of weapons and ammunition so that they can be used safely during missions. Improves the acute medical care available during international military missions.